tonight. On Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay heads to Long Beach, California to save a 54-year-old family restaurant. Hello, my name's Nino. That is under the misguided leadership of the oldest son, Nino, who refuses to listen to anyone. I'm living in a fantasy world. I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. Not his brother. Stop being angry. I'm not being angry. Just please please stand up. Not his sister. You need to be in charge. That's not true. Or even Chef Ramsay. You're just trying to act like a fucking idiot. You sound like a fucking idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. His 78-year-old mother is desperate for Nino to step up. Nino tells me he has no power because you won't let him. That's not true. But when Chef Ramsay points out the problems, you are not in a position to take responsibility for anything. Nino has an excuse for everything. They're freaking liars. Find out tonight if Chef Ramsay can get through to this stubborn manager. It doesn't even feel like his family run. You are being entirely unfair and dishonest. And save this feuding family. I'm not scared of you. Are you threatening me? I'm not a person that's scared. Would you want to fight? From closing the doors of the restaurant for good. You could lie about anything. Don't talk to me like that. He's going out the door. What is that? You serve me rotten food. We can possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! Thank you, Chef. Long Beach, California, an oceanside community located 20 miles south of Los Angeles. Nestled in the heart of this vibrant city is Nino's, a family-run restaurant opened in 1958 by immigrants Inga and Vincenzo. When we got to America, Vincenzo wanted to open a restaurant, and that was his dream. How are you doing tonight? Very well, yourself? Welcome to Nino's. I ran the outside, he ran the kitchen. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun, too. We had a great time. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. My dad ran a restaurant with an iron fist, and we were the best that you could be. <laughs> it's hard now, because he's 88. He's on the onset of dementia, and uh, in the last several years, has separated himself from the restaurant. Who's taking table 11? I have no idea. Do you have table 11? Ever since my dad retired, my brother Nino is supposed to be the restaurant manager. All I can say is, he's the worst employee here. He loves to run up the tables and go, hi, I'm Nino. Thinks he owns this place, and he's because his name Nino's. However, my dad has told him, Jack in the Box, the owner no be named Jack. Pick up table six, please. I'm really quite tired. I didn't sleep last night. Terrific, thank you. Nino works here, we pay him, but basically he does very little. He sits in the office and watches TV. If he wouldn't be our son, he wouldn't be working here. How's table 11 coming along? They're almost ready. Because my brother sits around a lot and doesn't do anything, my sister Karina and I have helped throughout the years substantially. We found a hand in our food. And you bust to put it there. No, I have bread, dude. I don't have any hair. You know, you're making it worse. They're liars. No, they're not. My brother's 60 years old, and he acts like he's 12. That was inappropriate, what you just did. This is my parents' legacy, and he's going to run this restaurant into the ground. You're a lying sack of shit! I got a brother and sister that they think they got better ideas. My brother and sister asked Chef Ramsay to come without consulting me, and I have an ill feeling about it. We are we so leaving. Bill. Forever. I mean, is he that detached from reality that he doesn't see how much mom is suffering? They're freaking liars. This is a woman who always pays her bills on time, and she's having to take money out of the retirement to pay for this restaurant to keep it going. I made a promise to my husband, Vincenzo, that I would keep this restaurant going, but some night you have 10, 12 people coming. That doesn't do it. The last thing I want to do is close the doors. We put a lot of love. <laughs> we put a lot of love in this place. <laughs>
God. Well, I feel like I'm back in 1958. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm well. Nice to see you. My name is Inge. Inge. I'm not very Italian. No, I'm from Germany. From Germany. My husband is the Italian. I see. Your husband's Nino. Nino is actually the son. So there's you and your son all running the business. And uh, Karina and Mike, they're also right. my kids, and they are here right. many times. And how about your husband? He's kind of retired. It'd be nice to meet the family. Can we get everybody together oh, and sure. have a chat? Everybody for a catch -up? is in the bag. There's Mike. This is the baby, right? No, no Karina is the baby. Oh, you're the baby. Hi, I'm Karina. Nice to meet you. Likewise. And this is... I'm Nino. Nino, good Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. So you're the oldest. Yes, I am. I'm the one that's going to be 60 pretty soon. <laughs> I'd like to catch up with all of you now. Let's okay. go somewhere a bit quieter. My brother Nino tells everybody how hard he works and that he runs this restaurant. I I'm sorry, Nino. He's not going to swallow your BS for one second. So how good is the food? How would you rate it out of 10, Nina? 10. A 10? Wow. Yes. Karina? I would have to rate it as a 7. So, Michael, what would you give the food? I would give it an 8. So the food's good. That's great. And what's your role? I really don't work here all the time. I have my own career. Right. As my sister does. Uh, I help out whenever my mom calls. I'm Johnny on the spot. Nina, the restaurant's named after you. What's your role? The person that always been in charge was my dad. And then when, when he developed his Alzheimer's, I stepped up in this business. Wow. What do you mean? I, I get here early. I, I do uh, the remedial things as janitorial, Good. vacuuming, cleaning of all these plates, and cleaning the restrooms, scrubbing the toilets, washing the patio. That's just from 8 until about 4, maybe. Weekends, usually, I'll come in for uh, extensive cleaning. Sounds like you do a lot of cleaning. Cleaning? What are you talking about? The restaurant is a mess. <laughs> Take away the cleaning. What else do you do? Karina, um, help me out. There's no key person. There's no one really directing the kitchen on how the portion should be, how the quality needs to be consistent. You know, you need to be working in the kitchen. When I worked here I, and Mike worked here, we jumped in the kitchen. They don't want me in there. Who? The chefs. The chefs? They're very adamant about uh, uh, keeping that kitchen to themselves. It sounds like you put over a barrel now. It's like everybody's kind of running the restaurant. I thought Nino was running it. <laughs> <laughs> not really, no. That's not true. But Nino's here. But Nino isn't here. He's here at lunch. So he doesn't run dinner. Are you here for dinner? Yes. <laughs> I don't understand why you're not here. Lunch and dinner. Get something my mom and I are constantly frustrated with. Nino's doing everything half-assed. And so Mike and I have to come in, help the family. Wow, I mean, it <laughs> doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. He irritates the crap out of me. He spends a lot of time sitting down with customers. I mean, not just visiting, promoting the business, sitting down and talking for long periods of time in the middle of lunch. And he's the only restaurant manager I think you'll find anywhere that has lunch at lunchtime. He spends a lot of time in the office watching TV. This is not even true. He's not it's here not at eight, He's not here at 8 in the morning when I get it. Why would I come here at 8 That's in the morning? That's a fantasy. I watch TV. The television here is 40 years old, and I have a uh, high def at home with all the all the channels I need. Why wouldn't I just stay there? I so get here at 8. Tell people you're working. Because nobody's here, so you can say whatever you're doing, right? Stretching the truth. It is not. <laughs> My brother never tells the truth. <laughs> So Coming that, from a pathological liar, I take I, that as a compliment. He <laughs> thinks I'm, I'm some kind of nut because I, I, I'm in a recovery program. There's nothing but to do I'm with not, that. It has nothing I, to do with that. You're just he, a liar. He, he thinks we're you're all just, living in a fantasy world, according I to him. No, I think you're in a fantasy world by the way you act here. My honest feeling it is he doesn't do crap here. He does a lot of sin. I'm talking. He makes everybody believe he does crap. Just like last night, he ran up to every table and said, Hello, my name's Nino. That's not true. Nino, please. Would you let me talk? Mr. O was talking. I see that all the time. And that's why I kind of stay back from here, because I love this damn restaurant. And to see it just being run down drives me freaking crazy. To my opinion, he doesn't do crap. My mom will admit it. My dad will admit it. My sister will admit it but I will come out and say it passionately. Doesn't do crap.
while the family and Nino are in complete disagreement over his effectiveness as a manager. Thank you. Thank you. They were all in agreement that the food at Nino's is good. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Yeah, nice to see you. Are those brothers always butting heads like that? Are they always arguing? Yes, they are. Wow. Um, is that a spelling mistake on there? Egg, plant, as in two separate words? Yeah. It is. Shouldn't they be sort of joined? Yes. And I noticed this one as well down here. One meat ball. <laughs> Do they not know they're going to be like, it's one word, meat ball? <laughs> Honestly. And do you know what? I'll go for one meat ball, okay. uh, one egg plant, and okay. chicken counter. OK. Thank you. Got it. Excellent. Michael, um, listen, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate your honesty. And I know it's hard, but well, I, I feel like someone's blown smoke on my ass. My brother's full of shit. I'd be surprised if he worked two hours a day. And that, I, that's pushing it. Would you not feel guilty of your mum working twice as hard as you? Yeah, she should be a day and night. That's what I'm saying. Why is he not here helping her? He doesn't have another job. He complains about not having money, not taking taking a vacation. Either come here at night or get another job. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, Gordon. You sure? I just ask before you make any judgments. I'm not making any judgments on you at all. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm listening. Nobody's here at 8 in the morning when I'm here. And 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 there is there is a job that's endeavoring. I mean, all the way, you know, and I, I get back behind here, you know. I get underneath there, I get the plates, I get up there. And, and um, it doesn't take that long. It, it takes about an just, hour or so. My knees and then I, I start doing stuck. the prep work. It, it's just that. What is that? It's just stuck to my jeans. Oh my gosh. So have a look at that under there. Oh my gosh. How many bits of gum are there? There is uh, four pieces of gum. So you do all this cleaning. I haven't looked down there. I don't think you should do that during the business hours in front what of customers. Time, what time would you like me to do it? Uh, come here at 8 in the morning with me. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be there with you at tomorrow morning? And I wouldn't do that in your restaurant either. Hey, you wouldn't find gum under my tables. <laughs> Nino is a ball of excuses. He's just wacko. God, this full of cobwebs. Bloody hell. Didn't get to that one. Bloody hell. Definitely didn't get to that one. Everybody else was done, right? Yeah. Right. Have you seen the size of that cobweb there? Have you seen that? That's dust. That, no, that's the cobweb. Didn't see it without the lighting. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. How often do you clean? Every day? I, you know, this is something that, that takes a lot of consideration. I, I, you know, you can be on this here for months. I start at one end and then finish at the other end and then I come back. On and... this one? Oh, God. This is the eight in the morning effect. Five days a week for years. Bloody hell. Is there a bathroom nearby? Can we wash my hands? Yes, sir. He should have shut up about yes, cleaning. Sir. I don't know what he's cleaning, but I wouldn't hire him at my house. I promise you that. Oh, what are the pictures of? These are me cleaning and pulling down all the all the bottles, every single bottle. I, I've never seen pictures of cleaning. That's a first for me. Well, that's because my brother's always yeah. questioning that I do it. I don't know in the first place why he took pictures. If it's clean, you don't have to prove it with pictures. You see it, right? <laughs> this is a chicken piccata. It's a lemon with capers and mushrooms. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. How do you like this one? Dreadful. No? Chicken's all floury, slimy. Okay. Come over, Nina. So I just had to Megan. Let's just, if you just touch, touch that, it's all I, easy. I, I'm it. not going to touch it with my finger. No, it's all, what I'm trying to say is all soggy and floury, so it's. Well, I mean, I'll do something like that in the kitchen, but not in the dining area. That wouldn't be appropriate. I wouldn't touch food. Listen, listen. You sit me on a table full of gum. I've got cobwebs coming out of my earlobes, and now I'm asking you to touch something floury. And you say, I wouldn't do this in the dining room. All of a sudden, you've got this level of concern. Yes, I do, because you... that's food right there, and you want me to touch it. This is food that you've given 10 what out am of I 10. Supposed to, what am I supposed to I want you to be honest with yourself and start fucking around. I'm not fucking around. Ready to get real. The chicken. It's slimy and furry. It's got raw flour on the outside. You're refusing to accept it because you're in the land of nod. <laughs> Chef Ramsay's sounding like an ass. Too much flour and it has no flavor and it's a very delicate 
chicken, and it's delicious. He said the bagata was disgusting. This guy is disgusting. Oh, and that's my one meatball. This is your one meatball. Makes sense. Thank you. That tastes 54 years old. Mush, disgusting, and just dreadful. Nino, come on. You rated the food on a 10. So far, what I've tasted, I'm embarrassed. That's too bad. The meatball, soggy, bland, and just hideous with a salty marinara sauce. It's a matter of taste. Say that again? It's a matter of taste. That's not a matter of taste. When was that made? Two days ago. Really? I saw him make it. Right. Can you have a word with the chef? I know you're scared of them, but ask I'm him. I'm not scared of them, and I'm not scared of you. What's that supposed to mean? You threatening me? I'm not, a, I'm not a person that's scared, so don't use that word, please. I ask you to step up, take some form of responsibility, and go in there and ask him. So, are you going to let me continue eat, or do you want to, what, do you want a fight, a like, confrontation? We're talking about something physical can you, now. Can you leave me alone, let me finish my lunch? Yes, I will. And if you find the balls to go and ask your chef when he made the meatballs, it would be greatly appreciative. By the way, there's dirt little bottles yeah. above the fish tank. Wow. Valentina, when did you make those meatballs? That's how you eat. That's unbelievable. Friday. I find that hard to believe. Because today is Tuesday. That couldn't be. That couldn't possibly be. <sighs> thank you. And this is the... Uh... This is the eggplant? Wow. Thank you very much. You're good. He made them this weekend, on Friday. He made them on Friday? Yes, he did. And today's Tuesday? Yes, it is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Unbelievable. We've been selling this sauce for 54 years. Yeah. And, and we couldn't possibly have this restaurant and have all the success if we didn't make a good sauce and a good meatball. You are in denial. No. <laughs> I'm not. Bullshitting me and blowing smoke up my ass, telling me working here eight hours a day cleaning. Telling me that food is great, people love it. I am shitting myself. And the then chef, you need to wear diapers. The, you shouldn't be shitting on yourself. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're just trying to act like a fucking idiot to make no, yourself I'm not. sound I'm better. I'm not a fucking idiot. Well, then stop sounding like you one. You sound like a it's... fucking idiot yourself. I sound like an idiot. You use the word fucking, yeah. so I brought it I back did. to you. Okay. I think that's right. that's kind we of gross. We need to calm right. it down. Unbelievable. Now I know the problem in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm staring at uh, it, and I'm, I'm staring at it as well. To be honest, I really don't know what's in Nino's head. Are we done? It's almost like he's completely mentally unstable. I'd like to have a quick catch up with you, Mum, Karina, and your brother. Okay. Let's uh, let's go next door. Um, I'm lost for words. Honestly, I'm depressed. Dish after dish was a disappointment. And then you rate the food. Ten out of ten, perfect. It's the best of time food I've ever had. I have a lot of friends that come here and eat. Your circle of friends isn't keeping the business afloat. Let's get that right. And let me tell you something. The chicken piccati. Chicken was furry and slimy. The meatball we discovered was made five freaking days ago. But for some bizarre reason, you're convincing yourself that everything's fine. <laughs> What you have proven to me is that you are not in a position to take responsibility for anything except cleaning. For the first 40 minutes of meeting you, all you told me about was the cleaning. You're in denial, you're refusing to listen to the negative feedback regarding the food, and yet you've got pictures of yourself cleaning the place. Hello? I didn't take those pictures. You were happy to show them to me. Well, you, you, you were indicating that I don't do anything. Cleaning is basic, like drinking water and breathing air. And that is not Clean management. Nina, there's the lady there that's got all the weight on her shoulders. And I don't know when you're thinking of getting responsible, but let me give you some piece of advice. Hurry up, will you? <laughs> um, I'm just saddened, I think, really, because it doesn't even feel like it's family run. Um, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm sorry. I really got the sense that he came in here and I'm his target. He's 100% right. 
You're the biggest problem here, and if mom could initiate your early retirement, it would be the best thing. Okay. You are being entirely unfair and dishonest about this. But I can't stand have, seeing this place run like crap. Know. This fighting has to stop. Okay, well, then I can't come because I can't stand watching it. It's not Maybe just... you're taking nerve pills or okay. something. I don't know. I can't take I it. I don't take nerve pills. Okay, but I Never. can't take it. Why are you yelling, yelling at your mother? Because you're saying the fighting like, like I come in here just to fight. No. I come in here, you two fighting. You need to talk. You yes. need to talk. So maybe we stop saying the you word fight. We're just a couple cats and dogs. We, That's what it sounds like to me. Chef Ramsey, he said this is not a family. And I know it's not a family. Okay. Ciao, arrivederci. Chef Ramsey has quickly identified the two biggest problems of the restaurant, Nino and the food. But he's about to learn a whole lot more as he watches how this kitchen functions during a dinner service. What, uh, what is that? Lasagna. That's lasagna. Well, if that's a lasagna, then I'm the Pope. Jesus. When was it made? Last Friday, no? Last Friday. Wow. It's really weird. Very weird indeed. Oh, man. What is that? This is chicken. I thought it was lard. It's not, it's chicken. Wow. It's all dry. Bloody hell. Can you get me Nina, please? Nina. That's chicken. Yeah, have a little taste. All right, spicy. all right, all right. It's dry, bland, and it's just been reheated now for your pasta dishes. Yeah, sure. I like the taste. That is not the way to cook. Right. I believe Chef Ramsey may have exaggerated. It almost sounded like it was unsalvageable. Throw that away, please, yeah? I don't even want that saved for a dog. OK. You have the cauliflower pancakes? This is yours. As the dishes leave the kitchen reasonably quick, <laughs> complaints from customers are almost immediate. Look at this, though. Like, this is supposed to be the breading, I think. This is no good. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think I'm going to send this back. Sure, let me take it. I'm oh, sorry for that. Let me take it. Way too much grease. Oh, no. What's wrong with that? That has oh, Jesus Christ. Butter. You are kidding me. What is that? Come on, guys. This is an example of Nino not knowing how to manage this restaurant. He should be in the kitchen making sure that our food quality is consistent. OK, where's Nino? Help me the yeah. kitchen. That's what you need to do. I haven't eaten anything all day. Are you kidding me? eating dinner with my mom and dad out front. We should be working, but... Yeah. If he had the initiative, the assertiveness to take over, we wouldn't be in this situation. OK, so Nino just continually stands there. And that's the frustrating thing right now, because I look, and he's like in my right for a fill at all times. And you've got your poor 78-year-old mother standing out the front, Good clinging table. on. Look at the mess in here. Oh, mushrooms and... My god. Are they the meatballs? Yeah. Where are they from? Uh, Friday. Friday. These are from Friday as well? Uh-huh. Look at it. How old is that to go that colour? You know, I have a feeling if I asked somebody, they'd say, no doubt, from Friday. When was it made? How old is that? It's uh, from Friday. Friday again. Busy day, Friday. Have you seen inside your refrigeration? Yes, absolutely. We actually do a full, full, thorough cleaning every night. Have you got two minutes? Yes, sir. Just look down there, the back there. Yeah, there's some product on the ground. Uh, so what on the ground? Mushrooms. Yeah, there is. And have you any idea? No, this is this is here. This is just left there. My God, what's that? Pepper. You've been serving this all night. It's not even scaled. You're the man that gave me 10 out of 10. Come on, then. Right. I don't know what to say.
While Nino says he takes great pride in the cleanliness of the restaurant. What's this? Chef Ramsey discovers another horror story in the walk-in. That is rancid. How long does a red pepper take before it goes that rotten? Just smell that. It can go fast. It can what? It can go faster than you expect. How would you feel if your customers saw that? That's what I'm trying to say to you. All right. That would, I mean, I'm sorry it's there, but we wouldn't take that and, and serve it to somebody. No, but what and, I'm trying to say is that signifies how this whole business is run. I'll give them on that refrigerator. I'm horribly disappointed about it but uh, it's impossible to do everything properly. You're not doing your I job agree. to the best of the ability that's necessary to run this business. If you want to say that, that's, I'm, I'm sure that's your prerogative. It's not my prerogative. I'm watching it. I'm watching you doing it by the minutes. I, I don't have the authority to assert myself. And you when I ask do, somebody, you know. They, you do. You okay. just never have. Your mum wants you to step up. I'm so confused. She wants you to do it. Uh, You're nearly 60. Is that true, what you just told me? He has no power, because you won't let him. That's not true. That's not the way it is, Nino. Why do you tell stories like that? How many times have I gone in there and tried to, to, to when assert is myself? It, when is it two or three years ago? I had to go into hospital. You were completely out drunk. I, I had a relapse and ended up in the hospital. What I saw was so disgusting. I had to hold him down in the emergency room. You know, they had to put him in the in restraints. And I made a bad decision. She still has a resentment about it, and I don't know what I can do about it. Do me a favor. Yeah. I need to spend two minutes with your mother now. All right. Yeah. I feel for you. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Mm-hmm. He almost died. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you holding it against him? Or is it down to the actual work and commitment? I it's think it's the work and commitment. Is he lazy? What is it? Yeah. I am here to help you. You must understand that. Yeah, yeah. Can we meet first thing tomorrow morning? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. As Chef Ramsay has made a commitment to Inga to help save the restaurant. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. He knows his next step is to make sure that Nino is committed to changing his ways. So this morning, he fills Inga in on his plan. Right now, Nino thinks every day that this restaurant's not going to close because you're going to continue funding it. Mm -hmm. If he starts to understand that you've had enough, that may wake this guy up. Mm -hmm. So here's the plan. I'm going to board up the whole front of this restaurant. So it looks like the business is closed. I'll be hiding around the corner, and I'll be around there, and I want to hear what he has to say to his mother when you say, I'm shutting it down. It's about him showing you hunger. What he can do, that what he, he can, can do. do it. Exactly that. You with me? Yeah. Perfect. this morning and I decided to close that business. I cannot do it anymore. It doesn't work. Is that what you think? Yeah. All right. Fine. Jesus Christ. Is that all you have to say? Well, Mom, it's your restaurant. You're the one that has a decision on this. But I think we should stay, keep it open. That's my personal opinion. 
I, I, I don't want to give up. I know we can hold out and do it. I cannot put any more money in this place. I'm willing to fight to keep this restaurant open. Do you have some suggestion how we can do that? We have an expert in the restaurant business. We can ask him. Do you really want to do it? Yes, absolutely. Hi, <laughs> Chef Ramsey. Hi, how are you doing? So, 54 years in the making. Mm -hmm. And the business is on the brink of closure. You're part of that failure. Yeah. Do you understand what that means? Yes, I do, Chef. It's got to come from you, Nino. I'm willing to commit. Take control, Nino. I shall. No more excuses. Just be on top of everything. I'm willing, Mom. The business is going to have to become a new priority. Number one. Number one. At this point, I believe Nino really wants to turn his life around, and he wants to do what's best for the restaurant and the family. While Nino says he's committed to change, How are you doing? Chef Ramsey feels it's important that he shares this news with his brother and his sister. OK. The lack of commitment with Nino has been going on for far too long. And your mother stepped up and told him, I've had enough. And Nino, to his credit, turned around and said, Mum, I want to do this. I'm committed. Yes. I don't believe that. You know, you've been in denial for a long time what your responsibilities have been. You made so many promises to all of us over your life. And this time, you need to be in charge. He's committed That's to that all. this morning, and this is the new Nino. Maybe for three, four weeks, but then he'll revert back to the old Nino. I, I'm asking, let's get out of the past. What is it we can do from this point to move forward and treat each other with decency and walk away sh shaking each other's hands? OK, no more excuses, no more denial. I need you to be the big brother that you're supposed to be to this family. I'm going to be much more focused on doing things that make the business more successful. And, and that's the truth. Michael, let's go for it. Thank you. I am willing to give Nino another chance. For God's sake, he's my brother. I believe he can change, but I'm not going to make any bets on it. Now that Nino is willing to take the reins and the family is ready to move forward, Chef Ramsay gives this restaurant its first facelift in over half a century. Good morning. Good morning. Good Chef morning. Ramsay. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. Very. A lot, a lot. Right. Take off your blindfolds. Oh, my god. Oh, oh my, my god. god. This is so wow. incredible. It's unbelievable. Are we in Nino's? I know there's a sign that says Nino's. <laughs> Welcome to the new Nino's. I love the light. I love it. 54 oh years in the making. <laughs> we got rid of the drab brown color. And we lighted the walls up. Yes? Thank God. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Gone are the Chianti bottles cluttering the ceiling and gathering dust. Now, we have brand new light fixtures made from old apple baskets. That's awesome. <laughs> I think it's hot. <laughs> I'm speechless seeing all of this. It's very crisp and clean looking. Welcome. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, this is amazing. Yes. Oh my god. I love this. First of all, we have decluttered this room. Yay! <laughs> painted it fresh. And these beauties here are handmade family tables. Oh, oh they're wow. beautiful. Inga, what do you think? This is the greatest thing because this reminds me of Germany. The people, they all sit on tables together and they have a wonderful time. I think it looks great. <laughs> we had the old Ninos for 54 years. It was time to freshen it up. I think with this change, we can be here for many more years. Oh, you kept our old picture up. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, darling? I do. Oh, no, don't get upset. Come on. I'm so grateful. I don't know how to say thank you. I want you to be happy. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful to you. Please. This is like a dream come true. I, I don't know how to thank you. Fall back in love with this amazing <laughs> restaurant. Definitely. I'm speechless. <laughs> and I'm really, really great. Thank you. Thank you, Gordon. 
to match the new contemporary design of the restaurant. Take one menu and pass them along, please. Chef Ramsay has created a rustic menu to complement it. It looks delicious. It looks like it should be in a painting. Very authentic. Oh, everything's in perfect. Now, enjoy the food. This is so Dig incredible. In. OK. Delicious. Oh, my god. Wow. Mm. Tastes good, ching parmesan. Bravo. <laughs> It's relaunch night, and Chef Ramsay has a new important job for Nino, running the kitchen. You ready? Yes, sir. You're going to be expediting? Absolutely. Uh, and stay on top of it. We are not going to argue in front of the team, yeah? Yes. This is it. Hi. Welcome on a rainy summer night. <laughs> it's so much brighter. So much ambient, so much uh -huh. everything. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, too. I'll try the ricotta cavatelli. That sounds good. Fire up number 15. 15. At this point, it's time to step up and finally convince Chef Ramsay that, that I can do this job, that I can expedite. OK, deal's up, Chef. We're ready. Linguini's coming Let's up go. right behind us. With Nino managing the kitchen. All right, here we go. Bam, pasta. Food is coming out at a steady pace. We have a bio. Yes. The sauce is excellent. Yeah. But as more orders come in. Here you go, Nino. OK, we need to slow it up back out there. Nino is starting to get overwhelmed. Nino. Is that another one? Yeah. Nino, is that right? Somebody's having a minestrone for an entree. Yes, it is. You sure? Yes. Then how can there be five entrees? All I want to do is make sure we check in well, so we don't screw the kitchen. Well, I can, I can uh, check back. He's at table 12. He'll be right back. Let's go. Nino's started getting backed up and overwhelmed, so I would do everything I could to stop it. This deck just disappeared. Uh, okay, so we've got issues okay, with the I, I got it. I got okay. it. Oh, like they, they, want all the, they want all this at the same time. Just okay? checking. That's what we're yeah, checking. I found out. I, I actually, Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. If well, both this, of us this are is, here, we no, can. This... I need a margarita pizza, Valentino, and a cheese tortellini. Hold on one second. Mike just kind of asserted himself into the line, and, and I can see that's going to be very combative. I feel like there's, you know, a war brewing at the pickup window. We're really falling behind. Okay, excuse me, you know, I can't see over your stomach. What, what right. table is this? Lasagna? You know, please don't sleep on the counter. Stand not, up like this. Mike, this I can't see the checks. Just relax. It's like, you know, please. Just stop being angry. I'm not being angry. Just please stand up. Posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just, have okay. to be calm. Yeah, yeah, right. I need a calamari appetizers and a veal. You got to give me table numbers, man. Sorry, you really do. You got to help me out. You're clearly on. Table 12. I can't even take this, man. Pick up table 5, cavatelli spaghetti meatball. I need a calamari pickup appetizer and a minestrone. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? Fuck me. He talks to me like again. He's going out the door. It's relaunch night at Nino's. I need a calamari pickup appetizer. We need fucking 20 people talking. And Michael has pushed Nino out of the way and is trying to leave the kitchen. Mike, I got this under control. Yeah. But unfortunately, he's putting the relaunch in jeopardy. Shut up. Don't talk to me like that, or we'll come back there and have a nice talk. You got it? Fuck me. Mike, come here, come here, come here. Don't blow it up. There's no point in blowing no, the whole. I don't blow up. I was coming up to try to clear the mess. Let's let, let's keep it calm. Okay. Very okay. Good. I'm calm as a cucumber right now. Sure. Why don't you go outside and get some fresh air? You got it. Nina, table's fired. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Right now, Anthony needs you here on the whole place. Exactly. Yeah. Head chef, expediter. Right. You got to stay like that. Exactly. Okay. I need a calamari for five. I need a calamari for eight. Excellent. Let's go. Order up. Michael. Yeah. Can I have a word, please? Don't let this spoil tonight. Just take a big deep breath. I can't turn off my emotions like that. I'm, I'm not, not asking It's not to, a light but switch. But you're letting that just spoil the whole fucking thing. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not here and your brother pisses you off, you've got to show some form of control. That's all. Control. Don't let it spoil the night. Yeah, OK. I appreciate it. I'm waiting for table two whenever ready. Here we go. Fire the lasagna. Can we take this to table 12? You got it. Thank you. Here's your calamari you needed. Thank you. All right. Good good. Calamari. Everything's going well right now. You're doing good. And the steak. 
It's really good. It's very good. This is everything I'd ever wanted for our restaurant and hoped for. I'm so overjoyed. It's it's surreal right now. Did you already get that, number seven? Spaghetti meatball, they all finish, finish. I can't remember the last time Nino worked that hard. I hope we're going to be here many more years, including me. <laughs> Just with a little less work. That's the last ticket out. Good. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Let me tell you, that wasn't a perfect evening, but thinking that nothing's been changed for 54 years, it was never going to be perfect, let's be honest. Yeah. Nina, you didn't disappear. You stood there and took it. Well done. Thank you. I think you did a remarkable thing for us, and uh, I want this to work 100% with all my fiber. You stick with it. And Michael, how would you sum up tonight? It was just very confusing. You know, it's a new look, new menu. <laughs> you know, we'll see what our, what our regular customers think too. But I can't speak for them. Sure. Do you want it to work? Yes, I do. Yeah? I'm unconvinced you actually want to change, let me tell you. Well... I gotta go. Tragic. Uh, this has been the best day of our family's life, and um, Mike is being a complete asshole. It's really disappointing to see him walking out and being so ungrateful. I hope my family could get behind all this change and really support it. I'm hoping to. Look after yourselves, will you please? And look after each other. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, you. thank you so much. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Thank Bye. you. Good night. When this restaurant started, there was no internet. Man had not landed on the moon, and there was no such thing as a color TV. But there was Nino's, and the only way this restaurant can continue is if the family put the past behind them. I'm not sure if they can, but I'm really hoping they can do so. Wow, Nino, he can clean and take photographs as well. In the weeks that followed, although Michael distanced himself from the restaurant, the rest of the family has stepped up. Fire up nine yeah. and seven and the fireplace. Nina was working harder and is taking on more responsibilities. But the task of running the business on a day-to-day -day basis still falls on Inga's shoulders. You enjoyed the pizza? Yes. Oh, great. And despite her full-time job. I do want us to just all work together. Karina has increased her presence at Nino's in hopes that the 54-year-old family restaurant will live on as a legacy for generations to come. Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Opa! Chef Ramsay makes his first visit to Seattle, Washington. Am I seeing things? But he doesn't exactly get... Look! Look in there! A warm welcome. What a disaster. Chef Ramsay is in for a major challenge with a defiant owner. I'm not a man that backs down. Who refuses to listen to anyone. I've never seen this before. Get out of my kitchen. Even his own family. Stop the excuses. Let's just go forward. It was fresh. Do it that day. Really? While they constantly blame each other for the restaurant's problems. They don't focus. I'm here every day. The standards have plummeted. You shouldn't be fucking anywhere near food. And despite wife Karen seeing all of the problems... A lot of our fixes seem to be pretty simplistic. Husband Peter seems blind to it all. I don't have to change. They have to change their attitude. Get ready for an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> as Chef Ramsay attempts to prevent an old school owner... Leave my window now! ...from destroying his restaurant and his relationship with his family as well. I'm done. Then we'll go down in the flames. What is that? You're serving rotten food. We can possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! Thank you, Chef. Seattle, Washington. Known for its great coffee and superior produce. Just north of the city lies the up-and-coming neighborhood of Finney Ridge, home to Yanni's Greek restaurant, run by Peter Augustillo and his family. 
My dad decided that we should open our own restaurant in 1984. And in 2007, my dad passed me the torts, gave me the keys to the restaurant. Daria, what do you need? I need another Saganaki. No. When we first opened, business was a success. Opa! But now it seems like this neighborhood is changing. Are we open yet? And um, now people just don't seem to be coming to Yanni's anymore. I don't know, guys. I don't know. My husband was stuck in the past. The neighborhood's different. It's not a neighborhood that's different. It's the attitudes are different. And he doesn't listen to any of us. The melons on the dinner had potatoes. Written here are potatoes. Don't fucking tell me that next time, OK? You, you just spoil shit. And the only thing he does is yell. Where's my plates? I need plates to check it before you serve it. My dad is an absolute control freak. Yo, yo, oh! And sometimes I can't take his derogatory tone. Elise, let's get going. What, you guys need guidelines? My daughter, Elise, is kind of like her dad. That's fucking ridiculous. She doesn't take criticism well. I don't think the man likes garlic. Well, tell him to get the fuck out of a Greek restaurant. And I think that that's why her and her dad have problems, because they have that same personality. Crying again. Taria, she can cry in an instant. <laughs> Stop crying. She's known for being very emotional. Ugh, what now? <laughs> there was too much cinnamon. There is nothing she won't cry about. Now what? Everything was too garlicky. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with this restaurant, but the main problem, Peter doesn't change. You know, a lot of our fixes seem to be really pretty simplistic. Excuse me. Cut the fucking crap. I don't have to change. They have to change their attitude. I see things more than you think. I just can't fix everything. Things have gotten so bad that we don't have medical insurance. We can't pay our bills on time. The mortgage is always late. We've hit rock bottom. Of course, it's raining in Seattle. Before Chef Ramsay heads to the restaurant, owner Peter has requested some time alone with him. Hello. How are you, sir? Chef Ramsay, how are you? Good to see you. At where else in Seattle but a coffee shop. Tell me how it started. Tell me back to the beginning. We opened 1984, and it was just me and my dad, and uh, it was uh, very good. It Making was... money? Making good money, yes. And then uh, 2007, my dad decided that you know, it's time for me to pull back. You took over? Yeah, you Full know, time. he gave me the torch, and uh, unfortunately, uh, our neighborhood have changed. A uh, new, young generation moved in. Yeah. And I think they're afraid to give us a try. Right. You know. Not good. How much money are you losing? Between uh, eight and 10,000. Month? Yeah. How are you surviving? I mean, do you have money put away? We cut down staff and everything else, you know, so my wife has to take over the dining room. Plus, my two daughters work in the restaurants. What and, do they do? Um, the one that works in the kitchen with me is Elise. Elise? And, and then that... the other one is uh, Sarah. Teria. Teria. How hands-on are you? Uh, full hands. They gave some responsibilities to my wife, but I still feel that I have to look over everybody. What's the problem? When it comes to business, I don't think they're focused. Right. You know, so the devotion is not there. Devotion? Yeah. Do they listen to you? Uh, no. 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 Not really, but... What are you like as a boss? Really? I'm not uh, strong enough, I think. You're not strong enough? Yeah, I give in. Wow. It sounds like all the pressure are on your shoulders. I mean, that's... It is on my shoulders. So what's right with the restaurants? Well, I think we have good product. So the food's good. How would you rate that out of 10? If not 10, 9. Oh, wow. That's good. 9 out of 10, that's amazing. I'm going to finish up my coffee. Thank you for being open and honest. Sorry. I'll see you back at the restaurant. Thank you very much. Thank you, Welcome to Yanni's. Thank you. Good I'm to see Karen. You. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet well, you. Is she here? He's here? Yeah. No way. This is Taria, right. my eldest daughter. Uh, Hi. The... Nice to meet you. Taria. Wow, wow, wow. And this is little sis, yeah. right? Elise. Elise, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Please take a seat. I'm really excited to see Chef Ramsey and for him to tell my father you're not only taking your restaurant down, but you're bringing your family down with you. 
What I'd like to do is get your perspective and all insights to Yannis. You know, there's no, no fun anymore. You know, there's no frills. Um, things are tight, very tight. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you upset? Teria, she's very emotional. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Yeah. It's tough to see my parents struggle when they put so much effort and to know that we're struggling just to barely make ends meet. It's hard. I'm sure it's very hard. Well, how long has it been that bad? You know, a couple years, mm -hmm. a couple years. We're trying to figure out what, what we can do. It's definitely outdated. The food is outdated? The decor. The decor is outdated. some of outdated. the food is outdated, though, too. Some of the food could definitely be presented differently. Why hasn't it changed? I think um, my husband's very stubborn. He's that stubborn? Yes, it's very. Very. Why, though? He can't just do, do it. it. Have you mentioned to him? Have you? Yeah, I mean, all the time. Could... Fights, many fights. All the time. Many fights. It's. It's virtually impossible. But he told me he gives in and allows you to do what you want, and he's too easy on you guys. <laughs> too easy. You know, too lax. No. no. No? No. Never. He's not laid back? No, no. Never. But he rates the food 9 out of 10. Um, he thinks the family are not pulling their weight. He's concerned whether his daughters are in or out. It's hard to be in when you can't have the full support that you deserve. Or when he never listens to anything you have to say. He says the opposite in terms well, of he he's gives bullshit. it. <laughs> he is not. That's untrue. That's really? untrue. Yes. Absolutely. It doesn't make sense. I don't know who you met this morning. Yeah. Let me go and get Peter. My husband is in total denial of the real issues and why the restaurant is failing. I need to get to the bottom of this. I mean, you know, you're telling me one side, the fact that they don't do enough. They're telling me they're scared to step up and change because you won't allow change. I'm always the, the, the bad guy because I want things to get done right. You just said to me an hour ago, you're the relaxed guy. You're the one that well, gives in. But see, when I when I raise my voice, I'm a bad guy. But it's what comes out of your mouth. It's because you don't know how, how to speak to people correctly. Because they're not committed. They don't focus Is on the job. Is that the only problem you have with us? No. I want you to be a leader here. In this dining It's really hard to be a leader to... when no, I am a waitress. A I don't give a shit. I want things done in the dining room like they're supposed to be. And I don't think this gets done. They're not servers from the neighborhood. They're your daughters. They're here to do a job. This is a job. This is my income. Do you want them out? No, I want them to step up. I can't do everything anymore. We're right here. You know, I, I can't do everything every anymore. day. We've all said we want to be here. We're the ones asking for change. What's the change? Decor. Everything. The whole restaurant. Move forward. Throw away the menu. Start fresh. Simplify. That's the only Trust thing. People. I mean, I don't understand why it's such a hard step. You know, it's hard for me to just give up this place. We're it's not hard asking for... you to give up. No, we're just we're asking, asking to change. You to change. I can. Within minutes of his arrival, Chef Ramsay was struck with the negativity within the family. Thank you. Now he's hoping that he can find something positive in the food. That's not all the menu, surely, to help. It's a oh, Bible. It's an encyclopedia. Five, six pages of menu. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine specials. I have told my father to change the menu many, many times. How do you remember all these? Most of this hasn't changed. Wow. So. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. My father is very stubborn, and he needs an Englishman to give him a good kick in the ass. Um, am I seeing things? Pumpkin hummus? Pumpkin hummus. Come on, stop. <laughs> yeah. I have been to thousands of restaurants. I have never, ever seen a pumpkin hummus. It's not even Halloween. I'm gonna have to try it. Okay. After that, how can I not take masaka if I'm in a Greek go. restaurant? Okay. And the house gyro. Okay. Thank you, Dane. Pumpkin hummus? This is his order. Pumpkin hummus, side house gyro, and a side moussaka. Whatever the chef wants. The decor is hideous. I mean, it does feel like you're back in the 80s. That ceiling. Honestly, it's like a kid's bedroom. Wow. Pumpkin hummus. Hummus coming up. Here's your hummus. Don't make it too oily. Wow, look at this, okay. baby. Then whose recipe is this? This is Peter's. Right. Would you join me? I 
does not make sense. I don't like the combination. And the garlic in there. Mm, well, Blood garlic is a lot. Oh my god. Garlic's a lot. Our Jesus. hummus is really, really garlicky. Wow. You want me to take that back? Oh yes. It was a great shame. Here. Thank you, man. Well, one thing for sure. Let's get that right. There will never be a problem with vampires here, let me tell you. I mean, that is hideous. Not a fan of the pumpkin hummus. And he says it was really too garlicky. I don't put much garlic. People complain there's not enough garlic. I put a little extra garlic, it's too much garlic. <laughs> like what? There's no win situation. Why are you crying? I don't know. Put your head up. Hold yourself together. I'm giving him the moussaka. There are some things on the menu that I beg my dad to get off because I don't personally like them. But there's a lot of things on our menu that I think are the best, like the moussaka. I would say that's a 10 out of 10. Wow, look at this okay. baby. Moussaka. Lovely, look at that. And that's uh, freshly baked uh, in the oven? Yes. Nice, thank you. You're welcome. It's nice. Weird. The meat is very sweet, and yet the eggplant is very bitter. The eggplant is undercooked. It's picking it apart. Greasy as anything at the bottom. A huge pool of grease. I love moussaka, but that is miles off. Moussaka, we suck. Karen, um, yeah. this moussaka was just so greasy. So that is a big letdown. Yes, I'll let Elise know she'll be disappointed. Not as disappointed as me. Wow, wow, wow. Any more bad news? OK. Oh, my god. Lisa cut too oily. Doesn't like it. I can't make a marinara without oil. He thinks the moussaka is greasy. Come on. That's ridiculous. I think sometimes the sauce, though, the red sauce is a little greasy. I mean, you can see the oil. You want to go sit with him? You want to go sit with him and chit chat? How to fucking criticize my food? Get out of my kitchen. Just please, please. I don't need your criticism. Out of the kitchen. Nice, 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 nice. Right now, I'm just fucking pissed. <laughs> what now? Everything, you know, it's outdated, it's oily, it sucks. Stop crying. <laughs> I need a house zero a la carte. I got it. Out. I don't want to go out, over out, there. Out, out, out. OK. OK. So the house zero. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Trea. Yes, what Chef. You OK? Mm-hmm. Yeah? You sure? Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, God, she's crying over there. It's tough. I know it's tough. I'm sorry. Trust me, the only thing so far that's got a 9 out of 10 is the pizza bread. It was food's miles away. <laughs> as well as it may hurt, I am so sorry, but I'm only here for one reason, and that's to get this place fixed. I know, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoy this one. So do I. Thank you. What is in there? Come on. Seriously? It looks like a plate full of puke. Look at it. What a mess. Karen, two seconds. Um, mm. All that sauce on there, mm -hmm. you know, that's not normal, is it? Oh, really? yes, yes. Really? Yeah. When was the last time you tasted this? Um. I've, I've had it. I don't really like it. You walk through the door and you see the decor dated. I didn't think the food would be beyond dated. All right, I'll take it back. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. He says, our food is dated. The decor is dated. Our food is dated. What the hell does it mean, dated? Old school cooking, Peter. Dated. Fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. He didn't like anything. Oh, my God. I mean, shit. This doesn't like nothing. The pita was good. How about mashed potatoes? Did you like that? No, they'd be too salty. This is going to be the longest night of my life. 
theater needs to hear these things because the restaurant needs to change. You ask them to come out? Sure. Please. Maybe Chef can get through to him because we can. Listen, you told me when we first met that your food was 9 out of 10. I think so. Peter. But well, this is the authentic food. Authentic food. Let me tell you, that is not authentic Greek food. Pumpkin hummus. Hideous. There's some things that work with pumpkin. Hummus is not one of them. And the gyro? Whose idea was it to macerate everything with the sauce on there? What, is that? It's something we've had for years. It's like a litre of sauce. I mean, you say it was bad. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, OK. Moussaka? I mean, it's so sweet. Greasy. Eggplant, undercooked. So I had that bitter aftertaste of the eggplant at the bottom. Undercooked? When it's completely white in the centre, it's not cooked long enough. I disagree. If it's not white, and you're talking to you want it black, you want it burnt? I'm not asking you to take it personally. I'm not. Take it professionally. You can give me attitude. Do whatever you want. I don't have an attitude. But if you want me to come in and blow smoke up your ass and tell you it's delicious, yeah, I'm not the one. Peter, have you not thought about changing stuff? These are foods I grew up with. What am I supposed to change? You've got to take your head out of the clouds and get into the 21st century. I mean, you don't even realize how much damage you're causing yourself and your family. It's got to stop. I need some fresh air. I, I'm, I'm going to be back for service. I want to see how this place functions. I don't think it can be as depressing as what I've just experienced. I can still taste that fucking garlic. That was embarrassing. I'm not going to crumble because one person says that our food is crap. Shut up. I'm not even talking to you. Stop crying. You're just afraid to get rid of the old menu. What do you do with the customers that drive all the way to come here and enjoy something that they've had for the last 30 years? Old ways are not working. If you're going to survive, you have to change. Can't let go of something. I mean, we've invested everything into this place. I'm not willing to throw it away because you can't change a menu. Your hands up! Corner! Move, move, move! It's dinner service at Johnny's. And while Chef Ramsay knows there are real issues with the food... At least you guys are supposed to call me the motherfucking... I haven't even looked there. at the new tickets yet. I'm... This is a two-part. Tonight, his main focus will be on how the kitchen operates. Elise, this is going to burn. Then I'll kick your ass. They're not burning. Elise, why is this here? I want the first ticket out. I didn't make it. You did. Don't tell me that next time, OK? Whatever. Enough with this. I don't need to babysit anybody here. Time to grow up. How is that Tiro Spano? Elise, I want you to read the tickets, because these guys are missing food. Shut up. Learn your job, damn it. My dad can bark orders, but you're not helping me by just, you know, bombarding me with everything I'm doing wrong. Wow. How's everything so far? This is all gristle. Gristle? This whole end is gristle. Oh, right. So unhappy with the pork. Just the pork. <laughs> all right, I will be right back. All right, dinner coming back. It's full of gristle. It bent the fork, and he says that the orzo's overcooked. Come on, you know, it's like the end of the brisola. What do you expect? Come on. He said it was. I just want. Leave my window now. OK. Don't yell at me when I'm pissed. Get the lamb out now. I don't know if I can just Want me to take it back? Yes, please. With customers having the same disappointing experience as he had at lunch. Damn, what happened? Everything was just bad. Oh, my god. Chef Ramsay decides to begin his inspection of the walk-in. What a mess. No dates, nothing labeled. It's sticky, it stinks, and it's disgusting. How old is this stuff? Ugh, disgusting. What is that? Raw meat next to cooked meat. Seriously? What the hell? What is in here? You're kidding me. Uh, chicken. Oh, my God. Poor bastard bird. 
Police, put some food out. Who's this? Elise, what? why are you guys leaving this? I want you guys right here. I am. You just told me to kick food out. Do you have something to kick out? No, because you're okay. saying go, 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 and the lamb's not even ready. Lamb is ready. What is that? Just smell that for me. Just smell it. No, 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 no. It's not food. It's not food. We're not serving it. It's got fucking mold on top. It's moldy. What is that? The it's lamb? boiled beef. Boiled beef? Yeah. But just smell that, Peter. Just smell it. Elise, just two seconds, please. Yeah. Just smell that. Uh-huh. What does that smell to you? Um, it's bad. It's bad. What about the mold on top? I'm I am not using that one. I'm using this fresh one. If you're not so using that, that then let's throw away. The Fucking hell. What is that? This uh, chicken that we use for it. Oh my god, just touch that. I mean, how? The stickiness of that. Elise! Elise! What? What? I, I, I don't know what to say. Just touch that. Just touch it. Uh-huh. It's sticky. Elise. Yeah. Come it's on. old. I'm not even using this. I don't know. It's old. That's the second thing you're telling me you're not even using it. What about the danger zone of it even just being in here? Okay. It's garbage. Karen, two seconds, please. This is in the fridge. Peter, how long has it been in here? Uh, probably four or five days. That doesn't go like that after four or five days. Come on. Four or five weeks. We don't even... Weeks. No way. Oh, we don't no. keep food longer than that. So beef stew with mold on top. Have you touched that, chicken? That was the fat of the beef. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. I've... That wasn't fat. This chicken is multicolored, sticky, and you're saying it's four days. I don't know how long it's been in there. You don't know. I need you, you, and you outside. What about? Let me just show you one more thing. Opa! The flaming cheese. What the fuck is this? It's just old, old chicken. chicken. Another old, but we're not using that, are we? No, but so no. why is it here? We, there, it's 86. Do you know what really fucks me off? So no one's caring. There's so many things wrong. And yet everybody's in denial. Let me just show you something here. I don't want to do this anymore. This is so embarrassing. He's really going to blast us like that. OK, well, hello. Look at the refrigerator. I mean, shit, why do we keep stuff that needs to be thrown away? I don't know. It needs okay, to be thrown away, but I'm it. not the only responsible one. I've never seen this before. Every fucking fridge is full of fresh stuff and old stuff. Unfortunately, the old stuff's tainted with the fresh stuff. So what you think is fresh is no longer fresh. And those poor fuckers out there are eating this. Okay. No, you can't. I'm not going to let you cook anymore. Yeah, that's right. You want to continue cooking? You think it's funny, do you? No. Elise, if anyone can walk past rotten food in a fridge and continue cooking fresh, you shouldn't be fucking anywhere near food. And then when I hear, oh, I've never seen that before, then open your fucking eyes. I don't believe this. You know what happened to check things? I don't know what happened. What the fuck is this? Do you guys like this shit to drink it? Don't leave that it's in there for so long. Look! Look in there! That's embarrassing! But we don't use it! I can't keep up with everything. I fucking babysit you like kids, and you still fuck me. I don't need to babysit. If I want to babysit, I go babysit my granddaughter. She's more fun than you guys. What is this? Chef Ramsay's inspection led to some shocking, disgusting discoveries. Every fridge is full of fresh stuff and old stuff. And Peter is pointing the finger at everyone else. Look! Look in there! I've babysit you like kids, and you still fuck me. If I want to babysit, I go babysit my granddaughter. She's more fun than you guys. That's just like my father, you know, pushing the blame onto everybody else and not taking responsibility. Frustrating. I'm sorry. I, I just want to know, are our tables getting our food? There is no food, Teria. Tell people I'm real sorry. Whatever they had, it's free. I'm real sorry. Just close the line down, man. I don't give a shit what you guys do. We need to 
shut down the restaurant. Why? We need to shut down the restaurant. No one's getting food. Comp them for whatever else they've had. Okay. Uh, just tell, we're done. tell them that we're done. So I'm sorry, but you guys aren't getting your food. We're having some problems in the kitchen, and you know, we hope that you'll come back again. Drinks are on the house. Thank you for trying us. And have a good night. <laughs> this is not fair. I've never seen food like that. <laughs> you know what? There's no explanation for all that in the refrigerator. I always tell these fucking guys to bring it. Okay, you know what, though? You know? How about a system? A system. I can't there has be to be. On top of everybody. No, you just I need can't. to have them. You know, have I, I, I a can't. system. You know, how many times do I have to fucking babysit? Really? You know what? Your problem is you want to be a babysitter. You no, don't I'm want to let them have fucking, fucking control of things. Okay? Then fire them. Things should be labeled. Things should be dated. Things should. I mean, we. It's basic. Basic. Last night, Chef Ramsay was disgusted and disappointed in the mess he uncovered in the kitchen. Today, he is hoping that Peter and Elise are no longer in denial. Good morning. Come through, please. Come over. Let's sit down over here. Right, how are you feeling? A little shaky. A little shaky? Yes, sir. You know, with the events that happened last night, uh, I think we're all embarrassed. Uh, we're here to listen to you, to show us a new way to do things. But at the same time, I cannot let go of some of the things that happened last night. Like what? Give me an example. The refrigerator back there wasn't as bad as I made out. Yes, sir. What I saw last night was disgusting. Your refrigeration unit was one of the most disgusting fridges I've ever seen. You are the owner. And it's about time that you, sir, Start taking responsibility for what you're running. We are about fresh food, and I'm not going to serve my customers any spoiled food if I know it's spoiled. Never. The food that we served last night, it was fresh. Yesterday morning, I made this food. So you cannot tell me that we're sitting in the goddamn refrigerator and collecting mold and all that shit. We don't leave things like that that long. So you clearly don't know about the spoiled food in the fridge. Then do you think I'm going to serve that? Why is it there? My employees are not as stupid to do that. Oh, really? And we get it, and I... She just sat there like nothing's wrong. I never said nothing is wrong. Stood I said there. I would never serve oh, that. No, but it's our fault that we make up all these excuses. Stop the excuses. Let's just go forward. It... Yesterday was a disaster. Disaster. So can we put that in the past and just walk forward? But the food that I served to these people yesterday, last night, it was fresh to the day. So you can tell me that. Let's get real, shall we? Because if you're not going to listen and you're not going to take responsibility, I'm done. Oh, God. I'm out of here. With Peter refusing to really comprehend the problems of the restaurant. The food that I served to these people yesterday, last night, it was fresh to the day. Chef Ramsay is wondering why he should continue to stay. I'm done. Oh, God. Last night, I think that it was reality in our face. We have dropped the ball. This is not what we are. Not what we are, but it's our fault. It, we, we can't blame anyone. It's our fault. We let it happen. We need to step up and take back the restaurant. Are you willing to work with us, Chef Ramsay? I mean, do you think that we're savable? I'm trying to. But when you can't accept the real problems, there's no chance.
I need help for improvement. Help us. Show us the way, please. We love this place. We live for this place. My life is this place. I haven't given up, but my focus has been gone. I need your help to pull me back to where I was before. I think we need to not go back to how we were when we were successful. We need to move forward and reinvent it. Yeah, you're right. Peter, we've got to let go of the past. You've got to change. Even though change is scary, you need to. Yes. You need to change. We have to change our ways. Yanis cannot succeed like that anymore. He cannot stay open like that anymore. And this is my reality check. And Peter, here's another thing. What I saw last night wasn't pretty. Peter, you were so negative. And if Elise is determined to be in the kitchen, you have to nurture her and support her. Do you ever tell her she does a good job? Uh, never. No. It shows. I mean, I'm sorry if I yelled at you guys before, you know, maybe with no reason and stuff, but the pressure was on. And, well, I guess I didn't know how to relieve the pressure or how Say to fix that, the pressure. You know, at the end of the night when it's all said and done. Well. Instead of calling the Chef Ramsay in here to make you say it, you could say it once in a while. Well, like I say, things are going to change. Good. It will change. You do know, you mean that? I do. 100%. I'm not a man that backs down. I'm not an egomaniac, Nothing but I have a pride. Right. We're moving forward. Moving forward. I really hope that he's willing to change not only our relationship, but everything. It's long overdue. <laughs>now that Peter appears to be open-minded, Chef Ramsay has an assignment for the family, modifying the major thing that Peter has been most stubborn about. Book for you, a novel for you, an encyclopedia for you, and you and I are going to share. The menu. Look at each and every page together and throw out what's not selling. Get ready to cut out a lot. I'll be back in five minutes, OK? OK. Feta and olives? No, that's must. Souvlaki's? No. Chicken scottas? Out. No, that's not out. Seriously, you come on. Chicken dishes? People come in here, they're used to this menu, and, and oh, it's well. like, oh, well, new I people don't want, are gonna come. I don't wanna lose this menu. New people so. are gonna come. No, we're changing. I mean, this is your time to change. It's like walk away from the menu. Just take it out. How many items is it to begin with? Too many. Oh my God. <laughs> I did realize so many. I've had this menu for 28 years, but I think it's time for me to listen to others. Leave my ego out the door. 55 item menu, I never, I just, that's the only way for this restaurant to succeed. Okay, we have to. Saganaki and fasolia is out. Okay, chicken scottas? Off. 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 I can't believe that my dad actually let us take a Sharpie and cross off all these menu items. We don't need those saucy beef dishes out. This is the first time I've seen my dad actually listen to my mom and my sister and I and not have to take control of the situation. Wow. OK, good. That's uh, our menu. We... Oh, wow. Well, just, just that on one page? 64 to 21. And wait a second, are you smiling? <laughs> Look at this. Huh? This is weird. <laughs> what? Man, there's no tears on three here either. It's I know. <laughs> this is the new direction, and, I, and we're all committed now as a family to make this happen. Good. That's given me a lot to work with. I'll see you later. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yesterday, I wanted to kill him. Now I don't want to hug him. <laughs> with the family recommendations in mind, Chef Ramsay heads to the kitchen to work and perfect the new Yanni's menu, while his renovation team overhauls the dining room. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Morning. First of all, how is everybody feeling? Do you have a vomit bucket? Oh, Jesus. Three yeah. shot. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. I want all of you to take your blindfolds off. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Welcome to New Yarnies. It is stunning. Whoa. 
That's yeah. it. Oh, man. How beautiful is this restaurant? Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. When I walked in here, it looked like you hadn't updated since 1984. Welcome to oh 2013. My God. That is so nice. Oh, my God. Taria, it's nice to see tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Gone is that depressing wall. <laughs> yes. We've replaced it with an amazing gradient paint job. Oh. You know, I love the blue. I love how it just fades out. The wine barrels have gone too. And look, we got rid of that hideous, dated, stained glass and owned up with wonderful wooden trim. And the restaurant looks twice as big now. Oh, God. Also, I've arranged for a complete delivery of brand new china, courtesy of Niagara, China. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. You okay, bud? <laughs> Come here, bud. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Up. Oh, man. How how you do my country? Let me give you the best. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> to see my father so happy, it's such a great feeling. His true emotion showed. Today marks the greatest day ever at Yanni's Greek restaurant. There's one more thing I need to show you. I think it's going to really help organize you in a way that you've never been organized. This is your new POS system. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the POS Lava system from Zephyr Hardware. This is unique. Servers take orders on touch screens. Orders go directly into the kitchen. Wow. No more trying to figure out what is the thing. <laughs> and this comes with a, an amazing new app that can be controlled from anywhere. Even from home, it will tell you what's going, what's not working. It will tell you what your top selling dish is. It will give you a detailed report instantly. Oh, my god. This nice is going to make this restaurant run seamlessly. Wow. wow. This is a new day at Yanni's. Wow. Thank Chef Ramsey. Now that Yanni's decor has been revamped, uh -huh. Chef Ramsay has taken the family's pared-down menu and created fresh, innovative, modern Greek dishes. We've kept your classics, and we've modernized your approach to the Mediterranean cuisine. Dig in. All right. Uh, enjoy. Where should I start? I think I have blinders before, thinking my food was great. But now that Chef Ramsay showed us new dishes, I'm ready. With Peter fully embracing the new direction of the restaurant. Are you ready? Pumped up, baby. Pumped up, baby. Look Pumped up. Chef Ramsay spends time teaching Elise and Peter different techniques in the kitchen. Just touch that, Tom. Okay. By doing that, it flattens the skin, okay, which then gives you a nice solid base. Chef Ramsay is boosting my confidence so much by teaching me the science behind the dish, and it's amazing. Good. Your plate is exactly the same as my plate. This is the way you two should be working together in harmony. Good evening. Welcome to the new Yanni's. At the start of the relaunch service, Peter and Elise began to battle. I can call. I'll call them back. You call me then. Call me. Yeah, I'm, you just told me, wait a minute. Calm down. Elise is expediting. Listen to her. But Chef Ramsay's enforcement of a new system got them back in sync. Elise, that's just going to be up to you then to stay strong, making sure that we are staying united as a team. New ticket, rotisserie chicken with potatoes, gyro with potatoes. Work together, guys. Eggplant oh, yeah. moussaka. Yes, I, I got it. it. Out. In there. Good. Out. Chef Ramsay is right. Instead of focusing on the negative and fighting constantly, pick each other up. As for the dining room, this may be one of the most successful relaunches ever. How's everything tasting so far? It's really, really good. With customers raving about the food for the entire evening. Delicious. All of my customers, they're very happy. They're all coming back. Peter and Elise working in the kitchen and actually him being happy and proud of my daughter, I mean, it's priceless. Watching all of you work together is beautiful. Thank you for helping our entire family come together. I am energized for the new Yanis. There is no words to thank you enough. The future for Yanis restaurant it looks great right now. We won't let you down. I want to make him proud. I will serve him the best pumpkin hummus I've ever made. That was just a joke. <laughs> Look after each other. Now oh, I'm going to miss this guy. Come back. <laughs> this went from one of the most depressing kitchen nightmares ever to one of the most uplifting. And in a matter of days, this restaurant leaped 30 years. And it's now an excellent Greek restaurant.
and I can't ever remember rooting for a family more than this one. Wow. Pumpkin hummus. What next? In the weeks that followed, Peter adapted to all the changes made by Chef Ramsay. Father and daughter continued to work well together in the kitchen. All right, our half chicken. The family is also happy to report that for the first time in a long time, Taria <laughs> is doing a lot more smiling than crying. It's a new bright day. I'm not crying. <laughs>